Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCory. Today's topic is how to gain self-worth after a breakup. Many men and women go through so many self-esteem issues after they go through a very hurtful breakup. It's not easy to get over something like this and it really can tarnish how you feel about yourself because you are trying to figure out what transpired, why things ended. Well, the first thing you have to do here is take some ownership as to why you got into the relationship, what happened during the relationship, what happened to end the relationship, because there's two people that make or break a partnership. And when we don't own a little bit of what transpired in that, in that demise of that breakup, then we take a lot of crap on to the next situation we get ourselves into. It's so hard not to get angry and not to get sad about what happened. And we hold on to those emotions for too long when we don't sit back and say to ourselves, okay, what could I have done differently? What did I learn out of this situation? If you walk away from a breakup really pissed off and wish you'd never met them, you're not really learning the lessons that you're supposed to learn. Because everybody comes into our life for a purpose of some sort. And we're allowing them in our life, so we do have to take some ownership as to why we allowed them in. And a lot of people get mad and they want to point fingers at the other person in the relationship. But in reality, it is both people that take part. We tend to concentrate on the sadness or the anger of the breakup, as opposed to understanding why we're not together anymore. Once you understand a little bit more and you have a little bit of time away from the relationship and you look back in, it does take a bit of time, but you can see, okay, now I get it. Now I understand why we just weren't together as a couple anymore. Maybe we didn't evolve at the same pace as we grew together in our relationship. A lot of times people can go one way and the other person goes the other way and you don't evolve as a, as a team. And that's so important to having longevity in any relationship. So if you understand and say to yourself, okay, who am I when I stand alone? How, how am I as a person when I'm not with somebody else? When you take time to figure that out, that's when you're good in a, in a relationship coming up because you've taken the time to get to know who you are, not who you are when you're with somebody. And this is what can take uh, breakups such a long time to get over for a lot of people because they're holding on to a little bit of the ego about why the breakup happened, why could they leave you, or all those little things that go through our self-esteem. So to gain your self-worth back, the first thing I suggest, the first step, is to get out of the house as much as you possibly can. Make appointments on the calendar that you have to attend. You've got to go to them. If you just make sort of frivolous outings, you can turn around and say, I just don't feel like going. But if it's something like a doctor's appointment or, or some maybe a banking appointment, things like that, that you have to go to, then you'll get out of the house. And the more that you're away from the environment that you lived in, especially if you lived with your partner, then you can get away from it. So even if it's one hour less a day that you're not thinking about them, that's one hour to yourself. The next thing that I suggest is to sit down and say to yourself, okay, what three things do I like about myself? Right now, it's hard to like anything. I get that. But think about it. Write down a few things. What is it that makes you a little bit different from everybody else? For myself, I'm, I'm a proud that I have the gift to write. I also... I'm a, a nurturer but I'm all, and, and giving, but I also feel that I'm able to help other people get through certain things. And I offer that guidance and I'm proud that I can do that and help other people. Another thing, I'm very, I have a lot of perseverance and I'm not afraid to learn new things. So what I do with that is I take those, those three things and I put them into giving my life a purpose, which is why I do what I do with this video channel with my blogs and with my coaching and I did not learn how to do that all at once it took time but the trick is to always better yourself 
with new things. Look, be open, be objective as to why your relationship didn't work out. There's lots of things that you can see clearly, but you have to take the time, step back and look inward. Because if you don't do that, you will stay stuck. And then it takes so much longer to meet the person that you're really supposed to be with. It is a stepping stone sometimes, love. And unfortunately, some of us repeat a lot of behavioral patterns in relationships and we don't learn the lessons that we're supposed to. So to get your self-worth back, sit down, be objective and understand what transpired. Why did it fall apart? What was the big things here and what did I learn from this relationship? It is really important to grieve the relationship because that's a big part of your life. When you give yourself to someone like that and you love them unconditionally and then things don't work out, that is a big loss and that is not something to take lightly. You need to spend some time grieving. But try to keep the anger away and just look at maybe what wasn't there as opposed to, well, we had this, we had that. Because if, if those things were enough, then you'd still be together. So. I'm not telling you to look at it negatively, but look at it objectively. What was missing? What caused the demise of our partnership? So I hope that helped today. It's not easy getting over a breakup and it's so much easier said than done when people point out the, these little things. But every time you watch uh, a video or you listen to somebody maybe talk about it on a, another relationship show, it does make things a little bit more clear. And it also makes you understand, you know what? That was a good part of my life, but I'm moving on into a better direction that's better suited for me. And once you get to that stage in your life, you will be so happy that you, you went up the steps to get to where you're going. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so, and please leave any comments under the video. Thanks so much.